Hey lightweights, welcome back to some more Horizon Forbidden West. Um, last video, I think we lost Varl, but um, everything kind of went down really quickly, so I don't really know. I'm assuming he's dead, uh, but we haven't been back to base yet. We woke up in Tilda's house after shit hit the fan, and she basically said she wants to work with us, she wants to help get Beta back, she wants to... Um, stop the incursion, if you will, uh, and told us of a plan between Regala and Silence. So basically, we're gonna take them both down. Well, take Regala down and then try to get Silence to help us, because he has a weapon that could help us. I don't know. But I'm really, really, really itching to see what's gonna happen next. Um, I want to get back to base to see if Varl is in fact dead or not. Um, very end of last video we radioed back to camp and um, Aaron said that everyone was there safe but that might not necessarily mean the people that we were there with obviously because Beta is kidnapped so uh, I think I'm gonna continue with the main missions today I feel like I'm getting close to the end so I, this might be the last video um, Mr. Light had looked up the uh, quests for me and I think I only have two or three left so I don't really know if I'll be doing side stuff this video or if I'm kind of just gonna be ending the game if the game ends before I do any more side stuff I think I will just end the playthrough there uh, because I feel like it's kind of silly to keep the playthrough going if it's just side content um, but I haven't decided exactly what I will do if that happens uh, my initial thought was to do the side missions and record them for patron fan house that sort of thing um, but if there's enough of a desire for from you guys to see the side stuff obviously let me know your thoughts in the comments and if enough people want to see it then I will um, try my best to kind of randomly release videos with side content to complete the game 100% because I know typically when I play a game um, one thing that I try my best and tend to pride myself on is completing games fully uh, so including the side quests, including the main missions, that sort of thing. Um, but we're going to kind of play it by ear, see if I'm like, sometimes when you get close to the end of the game, you can't really stop with main missions. It kind of just gives you one to the next to the next. Oh my God, my hair's driving me crazy if you can tell. Um, so if that's the case, we'll kind of play by ear with the side stuff. Let me know your thoughts. But my gut feeling is this will, that will be the end of the playthrough and I'll do side stuff for patrons slash fan house. Um, so yeah, now that I've been rambling, let me know your thoughts if that comes up. Don't type your comments now because this might not even be the end. I might be, you know, getting a little ahead of myself here. But just in case, I want to throw that out there. If you're new here and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post my next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, um, so... I fast traveled to the base and I wasn't recording it and Tilda was like, hey, I'm in your network, woohoo. But she's not gonna turn us in, the other Xenos can't hear us, all that good stuff. She also sent me this Horus Energy Cell data points thing. So I'm gonna start by reading that and see what it says. So it says Aloy. All FAS Bore 7 Horus combat platforms include EMP cells as part of their arsenals, acquiring and deploying one shouldn't be difficult, but we'll get to that in a moment. The bigger issue is activation. Barring extraordinary circumstances, such as interference from Hades, as you experienced last year, all Horus munitions are inert, deactivated by Minerva's decryption regime during the 21st and 22nd centuries. To render these EMPs operational, we'll have to skirt those efforts. I devised a way to do so without causing unwanted repercussions. A bespoke code code signal that should enable all and only such devices in the vicinity. I've transferred it to your focus. All you have to do now is send it out. A Zero Dawn communications relay should do the trick. I believe you refer to them as tall necks. I have chosen one for you that is centrally located, now marked on your HUD. Simply override it as you would normally and my signal will automatically transmit. Every EMP on every Horus within 500 kilometer radius should come online. On to acquisition and deployment. Horus units manufactured EMPs in their fabrication bays, then subsequent, subsequently loaded them onto their multi-purpose appendages, or tentacles if you like. 
Because the cells were designed to be detachable, enabling them to be fired or thrown at enemy forces, their fittings should be quite light. The only way to attain them will be through the air, but it sounds like you already have that covered. When you reach one, it should come loose with a hearty yank, rust or corrosion notwithstanding. There is no need to prime the cell as they are designed to trigger on impact. Once you have one, all you need to do is drop it in the target area. I'm sure Regala and her minions will enjoy the experience. All the best, Tilda. Okay, so one thing I wanted to look at real quick was Beta had sent us not sent us. When we were doing that Horus mission, she showed us, like, a Sunwing. I, no. What was it? Was it a Sunwing? It was a Glenhawk. Cauldron Override unlocked. So does that mean... Because... <sighs> I remember in the trailer, let me finish a thought so you understand what I'm trying to say here. I remember in the trailer she was riding on, I think it was a Glenhawk. So does that mean I now have that ability? And does that need, mean I need to go get myself a Glenhawk? If I need to take it from the air, because I doubt she meant hang gliding. Maybe they'll have answers for us in here. I love how every time I come back, there's more and more goodies. It's more homey. Oh. Novaro. Oh god, how is she gonna react? Oh no. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey. Can I get one damn minute? To mourn my friend! Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. They know. I don't know if that's better or worse. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. Hey, it's hitting me now. <laughs> the recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric. The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they. They knew where we were. <sighs> Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well, at least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. <laughs> Even when things are darkest? You're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? <laughs> we all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. <sighs> it's important because her heart is broken. Uh... Ugh. 
I'm not crying, I'm not crying. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, man. Holograms. Gaia must have repurposed the equipment in here to store their data. And it looks like it's getting some use. It's all going to be okay. You look busy. <sighs> My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. <sighs> Beta. Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, it's almost a nice. <sniffs> oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. <laughs> okay. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. Now that Varl is dead, and... And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Now that Varl's dead, and we know that Regala is readying her forces, and we need to get Silence on our team, and we need to get Beta and Gaia back. That just seems a little not important right now. <laughs> and it feels very weird to transition to that um, instead of focusing on more pressing matters. I guess it's probably pretty pressing for her and her people, but... You know what I mean. She made a little slice of home here. Over here, Aloy. <laughs> we would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times, we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... He has a seed! Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. <laughs> Thank you. 
from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him for saving my life, sure, but also... Giving up on me. He always knew. <laughs> Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance where Gala will never forget. Feel stiff in this cold. What the fuck? Good manual safe. <laughs> Fuck. Why are they gotta do that to me? <sighs> I think I'm just gonna like, be crying the rest of this video. I can't. Taking those space lugs down. <laughs> How am I supposed to go on after that? Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. I don't think I'm ever gonna recover from that. <laughs> Also, I need to keep a box of tissues. T <coughs> tissues okay. just on my desk. Better head up the mountain. Oh, 
because clearly <laughs> I don't really know where it wants me to go. Probably the same path that I had to take that one time. I love how she just like shook it off and she's just fine and I'm so freaking mess. That didn't work. What? 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 What do you mean we can't climb that? That's bullshit. What? For fuck's sake. I don't have the patience for this right now. Stupid game. Are you? You can't make me an emotional freaking mess like that and then piss me off about the mountain. This isn't gonna work for me. Why is it just like not coded? What is this? Isn't that the way it went last time? I don't know. Oh, I do. I was gonna say, I don't know how I don't have mascara down my face, but I do. It's fine. I'm gonna get my battle wound. That's a little overkill. Let's me to go this way. Ugh. I was like, wow, Varl's death didn't really hit me. today <sighs> I knew they were close I just <laughs> I didn't realize they were that close good there are siblings up here I'll have to approach them quietly I feel like this would be way more exciting if I wasn't freaking heartbroken right now. Got it. X to fly forward. Whoa. Whoa! Head rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. This game is so freaking good, you guys. <sighs> There's a Tolnex. Need to get on top of its head. R2 to descend, R1 to ascend. No, Circle how to land this thing. Well, that was easy. Made it. Just got over. 
famous last words, I'm sure, because the next part's probably gonna be a nightmare. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. about where do they even come from maybe the pulse did something to wake them up too kind of thought it would just wake the horse but Hell yeah, I do. There's the energy cell. I don't need to hang this back. I've got the cell. Now onto the grove. Cool. I'm glad I didn't have to get off. I should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Pretty useful. Even after I deal with Regala. I wonder what I'm gonna want them for. More big baddie fights? This is so freaking pretty. Look at that! be on this freaking sunhawk and have it okay doesn't go up it just goes out that's good i guess is that it's aloy she flies on the wings of the ten the tide has turned push through <laughs> Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! I mean, we could just picked her off with a freaking arrow from the sky. Why are we doing this? Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. 
I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And when I'm nervous. I'm done with you, I should have hit up a freaking practice ring first. <laughs> we'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. I mean, I feel like we hadn't started yet. That's kind of rude. Hey, Loy. For fuck's sake. We're better than this. We're not better than that. Now you show strength! Oh! Whoa! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! You're not hunting turkeys now! Only strength can conquer! Okay. I hate when it puts cutscenes in the middle because it messes with my flow. Why does that chick look bored? Okay, how do I knock down shot? I just got that one. Let's try it. Oh, hey, I can do that too. Oh, should I do tear damage? Is it trying to tell me that? That wasn't a tear arrow. Shit. Can I do this? Okay. Listen, bitch. I just want my health. Oh my god. Oh my god, how do I get missing? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. <sighs> uh... Skip that. Okay, we don't need to do that again. I don't know why I didn't think to change arrows or anything. Let's at least get this going. Jesus, Aloy. Okay. Um. Whiffing that shit. You should beg me to end your life. Okay. 
It was ugly, but we did it. Well, part of it. They're really making you use all facets of the spider. Fa facets. Use all the facets. This is where it ends. For you. Yeah, it is. Um. This is the girl. One, two, three, big. Ah! I messed it up. One, two, three, big one. There we go. This is all you want. Oh, that's not good. Oh, damn it. You die. Jesus. Need more. That's fine, I can oblige. I will carve my <laughs> Bye, bitch. Here I am again. <sighs> on my knees before bootlegs and cowards. Go ahead. Run me through! Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. They better She's not make me decide this. Right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. Fuck. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes, but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. 
I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about? We'll be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there is something you both need to see. In the throne room. That can't be good. What is going on with our hair? Did you see that? It's like Medusa. He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. Oh, shut up. Keep talking. I get what I just said didn't make sense, but you know what I mean? From an interested party. Okay, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. I keep telling myself that. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. Don't be picking a fight with Regala. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. His voice is so soothing. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Have Wrong. I? I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. <laughs> We're so cocky. I love it. Tilda, you Hell there? yeah. I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. That no one else could ever see. Nice. Okay. Um, let's just fast travel there. Let's not fast travel there. We must all unite there's quite of a mix of emotion going on in there. 
People hating on Hikaru. People loving on us. People loving on Hikaru. <sighs> Pretty realistic for any leader, I suppose. Can't please everyone. restock that. Should probably pick some up on the way. I'm pretty sure I used a shit ton of that in that last fight. <laughs> oh, I should see him. Um... Just kidding. Was gonna check the armor I got, but hey, uh, I guess Mr. not. Hey, know it is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. Huh? I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation, your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um... Coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But she can. <laughs> the company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough. There's Hopefully a lot of really big egos in this room right boring. now. At least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Pretty sure this whole base is about to oh, implode. No. You first. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> oh, I can open that door now. What door? Focus. It's Forles. I used to think. No one except one. Before all did. Even when he was overwhelmed. He refused to let me push him away. I refused to cry. I failed for all. A Gemini. I should have pushed harder. I should have done more. I'd give anything to have him back. With Regal out of the way, Hikaru and Tanakh, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. <laughs> but if I've learned anything about them, it is not a battle I am going to win. Oh! Oh! When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now, as always. I already examined these. 
Okay. All right. Um, inventory. Outfits. Resonator blast. Melee damage. Low health melee. I feel like I need the concentration more than I need that. Traps. Low health. That could be a good one to put on. For this upcoming mission. <clears throat> Lord knows my health is going to be low probably the entire time. We're taking those space lights. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. I'm but really nervous. I should handle before that. Yeah, probably lots of things, but here we are. Right, I feel like and the story is awkward to stop now and do side way. stuff at this point, even if it doesn't lead you one into the next. Okay, everyone, we all know what's at stake. Beta. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Huh? Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also- Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. <laughs> All right. The line of the we evening. Meet again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. Oh. Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Oh boy. This is gonna be crazy! So I wonder when Regala's gonna get here. Something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, <laughs> perhaps I'm willing to be generous. We surprised him, Aloy. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades in the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? <laughs> well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Uh. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Well, I was Makes sense, there, I, I guess. A run -ins with the, Quen. the tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. <laughs> they stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? 
They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain. <laughs> yes, he would have. Hades. For a start. Alright, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well... Your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it... a feeling. Oh, a feeling? <laughs> you mean you finally had one? <laughs> I guess even you can change, mm. Silence. Let's not piss him off too much. We still need him. All right, guys. Um, unfortunately, I have to stop there. I know it's kind of awkward timing, but that will actually be perfect because next video will be what I'm assuming is going to be the final big battle. Um, and I'll be able to talk to all of the all of our companions one last time without feeling rushed. Um, but we're already at an hour. I want to make sure that I talk to all of them and that will probably take another hour. So I don't, I don't want to cram that into this video or feel like I'm, I'm being rushed. So all that will be the final video. It would have been nice if could have ended on part 20, but you know, that's okay. Um, so let me know if most of you want to see the side content or if you're okay with me ending it after the main missions. Um, Varl's death didn't really hit me last video. I think I was holding out hope that he wasn't actually dead. Um, but then finding out that how close him and Zoe actually were and finding out that she's pregnant, that just literally destroyed me into a thousand itty bitty little pieces. Um, it was beautifully done. It was beautifully done. <sighs> the fight with Regala was a lot of fun. Obviously I struggled with it a little bit, but I thought that was really cool. Um, definitely forced, forced you to use a variety of your skills and tactics. So I really wish I had gone to, um, the training grounds more recently um the fighting pit ones because i forgot all my skills with that i forgot them all i forgot them all but it all worked out but that was a ton of fun um and i'm really really excited to see what this final big battle is going to be all about so if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell button when you do so you know when i post the very well, I think it'll be the very last video. I can't imagine there'd be another one after that. So I think the very last video, but definitely hit that bell button so you know when it gets up. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.